So let's talk about how we report uncertainties. Um, we've talked already about confidence intervals. We've talked about um, ranges. We've talked about significant figures. Um, but really, the way we will want to report uncertainties is um, with a specific notation. Right? Um, so that's if we measure a value x, that's our, then we'll write our best estimate of what the value of x is, plus or minus an assessment of the uncertainty. So it's the best estimate for our measurement of x, plus or minus the uncertainty. And so delta x is what we will call the uncertainty. Um, and x is or x best um, is our best value is the central value. Um, so for example, 2.4 plus or minus 0 0.1 second um, is a measurement with an uncertainty. And so um, one thing that's important to keep in mind is we put the unit once at the end. Um, this uncertainty will mean something specifically. Um, it doesn't mean that 100% of the time the true value will actually be in the interval from 2.3 to 2.5 seconds. Um, but it could mean, for example, that 95% of the time, 95% confidence level, um, that value is in, uh, in the, um, the, the range from uh, uh, minus 0 0.1 to plus 0 0.1 compared to the central value. Or it could be a 69% confidence level which is in uh, which is often going to be the case if we have assumed Gaussian and I'll come back to that um, Gaussian statistics with uh, a standard deviation of uh, 0 0.1 second in this case um, so those are, this is the way how we're going to list um, our uncertainties typically. Now we've already talked about, um, about significant figures in uh, our implicit um, notation for, for uncertainties. We're not going to be using that implicit notation um, for, uh, for uncertainties. Uh, we're going to be using this explicit notation. Um, it is, however, important to talk about uh, significant figures even in this notation. Um, note that I've written this uncertainty with one significant figure and so that will be rule number one is that um, our uncertainty has one significant figure and one significant figure only with one tiny exception that um, if we have 0 0.12, for example, we can list um, two significant figures. So when the, the most significant figure is a 1, when this here is a 1, we can have a, uh, an additional uh, significant figure um, because that second significant figure can make a difference on, um, on the, the size of the uncertainty. So that's important uh, to keep in mind. Um, the next rule is that our measured value is listed or is shown um, to the same decimal precision as uh, the uncertainty. So notice that in this case here, um, I've uh, since the uncertainty was 0 0.1, um, and we could have we could have added another um, significant figure to the uncertainty, but we didn't. We don't have to do that, um, but we can. Uh, it, the uncertainty is 0 0.1, um, but I, and so I listed the the main value 2.4 also just to uh, to one point after the decimal point, one place after the decimal point. So the same decimal precision as the uncertainty. Um, so some values, some uncertainties, so we can have 0 0.5 plus or minus 
0 0.2. Um, if we have a more accurate um, uncertainty, like 0 0.12, where I've used this rule here, um, then we can also list an additional um, an additional decimal um, in the in the measured value. Rule number three: uh, Do not round intermediate results. So don't apply these rules in uh, intermediate results. Um, only apply them to final results. Um, or you know, obviously you have to round to some extent um, since your calculator isn't going to show you all the digits of of, uh, <laughs> of some numbers. Um, so keep at least at least one extra digit. Um, so then other rules, uh, I mean, we already talked about this. So write the units only once. Uh, so if you have something like um, 2.4 plus or minus 0 0.1 seconds, don't write this as 2.4 seconds plus or minus 0 0.1 seconds. So that's not how we write this. Um, and similarly, uh, write the scientific notation only once. So 2.4 times 10 to the fifth. Um, if there's an uncertainty here, then what we would do is 2.4 plus minus 0 0.1, 10 to the fifth seconds. So that's how we write the um, uh, the uncertainty. So just to go over this again, keep one significant figure only in the uncertainties, um, unless there's this exception that applies, um, and write the measured value, the best value, um, or the best estimate value write this to the same number of decimals um, as the uncertainty. So if I see anyone writing things like um, 0 0.1, you measured 0 0.1 plus or minus 0 0.013597, um, then that will of course not be correct. There's two things that are wrong with this. First of all, there's too many significant figures here. So we would erase at least those numbers so we're just with the, we can still keep the three there. Um, but then the other thing that's wrong with this is that we actually need at least two more decimals here. And maybe they're exactly zero and then we would write exactly zero. Um, but the, the notation might also indicate that maybe there's actually different values there. So, so this would be the way to write that correctly as opposed to the one I started with.